Okay, this is section 7.2 on the hypothesis test involving a population mean mu large sample. We're dealing with uh, sample sizes of uh, 30 or more. Now, first thing we need to talk about is uh, actually the levels of significance levels of significance and uh, this is uh, referred to as your alpha level uh, and here's the situation we'll never know if the null hypothesis is true or the null hypothesis is false okay so we test these things now if you do not reject the null hypothesis and the null hypothesis is in fact true then you've made the correct decision Okay, it's sort of like uh, if, if a person's on trial and uh, they're assumed innocent until proven guilty. Well, if uh, they're innocent and uh, you, you uh, find them uh, not guilty, then you made the correct decision. But here, if the null hypothesis is false and you did not reject the null hypothesis, then you didn't make the correct decision. That's called a type 2 error right there. That's kind of like... Um, uh, the person's uh, guilty, uh, but you found the person not guilty, well, you uh, just made the wrong decision on that. Uh, if the uh, null hypothesis is true and you reject it, then that's, a, that's an error. You, you made the wrong decision. The statistics, maybe you did all the math correct, but uh, you, you ended up making the wrong decision. And uh, uh, that, that happens sometimes. And, uh, you're not graded on anything like this. It's just we will never know whether it's true or false. So uh, if you reject the null hypothesis and it in fact was true, then you made an error. The statistics led you in the wrong direction. That's called a type 1 error. And that's actually considered your alpha level right there. That's what your alpha level does. It's, the, it's the, actually the highest probability you're willing to make this wrong decision of rejecting the null hypothesis when it's in fact true. Like, for example, uh, let's say true here means that the person is guilty of some, some crime, and you reject that. Uh, well, let's say the null hypothesis is he's innocent, and you reject that. Then you just found the person guilty. So what's, the, what's your mistake here? Well, you just found an innocent person guilty, and you sent that person to jail. Well, how willing are you uh, to, to make that sort of mistake there. Uh, some people say, well, I wouldn't send anybody, uh, convict anybody unless, uh, uh, say somebody's guilty unless I was 100% sure. Well, that's really tough to be 100% sure about something. So uh, some people will say, well, oh, if I'm only 50% sure, wow, that's that's really low probability to, to uh, send somebody to jail. But maybe you might say, well, if I'm 95% sure, I'll convict the person. Well, if the person is innocent and you say he's not innocent, reject the null hypothesis that he's innocent. It's kind of like I think of the null hypothesis as being innocent because uh, we say innocent until proven guilty. So um, if the person is innocent and you think there's enough evidence to prove him guilty and you say guilty when in fact he was innocent, you made a type 1 error. That's uh, called your alpha level. How high of a probability are, willing, are you willing to uh, take of that? Well, maybe only a 5% chance that you're willing to take of sending what? An innocent man to jail. Okay, so your alpha level is actually not the probability that you get the, the decision correct, but the probability that you get it incorrect, in fact, this specific way. Think if it's true and you reject it, that's your alpha level right there, the probability of making that wrong decision. Now, if you reject the null hypothesis and the null hypothesis was false, then you made the correct decision. In other words, the person was not innocent, okay, the null hypothesis that he's innocent is not true, it's false, so you got a, uh, a guilty person here that really did something, and you rejected the null hypothesis that he was innocent, so you sent a guilty person to jail. That's the right decision. Here's the right decision, sending a, uh, letting an innocent person not go to jail, okay? Innocent person go free, because the null hypothesis is true, and you said, okay, you're out of here. You're, you're uh, innocent. You're not guilty. In fact, we really don't say innocent. We say not guilty. Just like we don't say uh, accept the null hypothesis. We say either reject the null hypothesis or do not reject the null hypothesis. We either say guilty or not guilty. We don't say innocent. So the same thing true is uh, for this. Uh, so that's what your alpha level is. And again, the type 1 error 
uh, the null hypothesis is actually true, but the decision was to reject it. The person was actually innocent, but the uh, decision was that he was guilty, okay? So you want to have that probability, that's called your alpha level, and this is a little symbol here for alpha, you want that alpha to be as small as possible, and that's the, the probability that you're willing to risk of sending an innocent person to, to jail, you could say, or of making that particular wrong decision. And again, the uh, level of significance or your alpha level is the maximum probability that you're willing to accept of committing a type 1 error, of rejecting the null hypothesis when in fact it's true. The alpha level is the highest probability you're willing to risk of rejecting the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is in fact true. Now, in statistics, we use the standard alpha levels. The highest alpha level we use, this would be the least significant alpha level, 0.1. It means you're willing to take a 10% chance that your results uh, may not be correct, okay? In fact, to be real specific, the alpha level of 0.1 means that you're willing to accept a 10% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis when in fact the null hypothesis was true. Let's say the null hypothesis was that the average age of students at a college was 25, and then you end up rejecting the null hypothesis at the 0.1 alpha level. Well, that means there's a 10% chance that the average really was 25, but you rejected that claim, okay? So uh, that alpha level, again, is the probability of you making the wrong decision. Now, you never really want to go higher than the 0.1 alpha level because you don't want to go have a higher probability of making the wrong decision. So 0.1 is the highest alpha level that you use, and it's really considered the least significant. As you go smaller, they get more and more significant. Like when you reject something at the 0.1 alpha level, that's like saying you're take 100% minus 0.1 and you get 90%. So this is like saying you're 90% sure of your results. At an alpha level of 0.05, that's like saying you're at least 95% sure of your results. Here at 0.01, that's like saying at least 99% sure of your results. Why at least? Because when your alpha level is 0.1, that doesn't mean that there's a 10% chance that you did make the wrong decision. It means that there's a 10% chance you're willing to go up to a 10% chance of making the wrong decision. Of all of these, the most standard one that people use is this one right here, 0.05. It's very similar to your confidence intervals. Your confidence intervals, the most standard one is 95% confidence interval. We'll take 1 minus 95% and you get a 0.05 alpha level. That's the highest probability that a lot of people are willing to uh, take of being wrong. But in this class, we'll go clear up to 0.1 and you know you can keep going smaller and smaller and smaller. In fact, a lot of people stop here, but in this class, we'll go clear down to 0.1 triple zero one okay and there's no need to test any farther than that if you can say it at the point triple zero one alpha level uh, then you're really sure if you think about it this is really like 99.99 percent sure about something okay with, uh, that you re rejected the null hypothesis and that you made the correct decision uh, some books will give you uh, numbers in between here like uh, they'll say we'll check the point o O five point zero zero five. that's in between here, and uh, we're not going to do that. And then some people might say to check the point zero 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 five in here, and we're not going to do that. So these are the alpha levels that we're going to use in this class. And again, if no alpha level was given, then use the point oh five alpha level. A little bit later in the notes, you're going to see something called the most significant alpha level. And the most significant alpha level, is, and this is important, it's the smallest alpha level that you can reject the null hypothesis. If you can reject it clear down to here, then you don't need to go any smaller. You just say you're able to show it clear down to this alpha level. If you can't reject the null hypothesis, even at this most uh, th this least significant alpha level here, 0.1, if you can't reject the null hypothesis of 0.1, we're not go going to go any higher than that. So then you just cannot reject the null hypothesis. Okay.